What's going on guys and welcome back to Upper Left RC. Today we're going to be taking a look at this little guy. This is a Losi Micro Crawler or Trail Trekker. I'll show both of them on screen here. It's one of these two. I never can remember which one it is because it didn't come in a box or even with the correct body or anything. Uh, this is actually a 125th scale Toyota model, a little snap together uh, plastic model and it fits pretty decently. Put some styrene flaps on here that that's how I mount it <clears throat> but this is the body this thing is highly highly modified I bought this off of eBay for a couple other things that came with it but because this was part of it and it didn't have an ESC and it didn't have a motor it didn't really have much to it it was just kind of a rolling chassis the shock mount placement is not where the stock ones are. I don't even think the frame is stock. Maybe it is. These links are definitely not stock. These are custom made. You can tell how they're like kind of custom bent like that for high clearance. So I this was just kind of like a throwaway part of the deal. I wanted the other stuff that came with this package, but the servo was mounted and I had an old ESC, Axial uh, SCX24 ESC and a bunch of their stock motors that I haven't burnt out, I just don't use, I always replace them. And as it turns out, they bolt right up to the transmission that was in here. So I plug this in, plug the steering servo in, and sure as heck, this thing runs. Let's take a look at it real quick. All right, I might have edited that out. I might not have, I kind of fumbled around with it, but I got the battery in place. Like I said, the motor wire runs over the top of it. It holds it in place pretty decently um, until, you know, I. I've plugged and unplugged the batteries a few times, so i got to make sure it's in there. But it's tight, holds it in, it's not the most elegant solution. Also, the ESC is held in tape, place with painter's tape, because I've just basically started working on this thing. But it works great, and uh, it's actually really fun to run. It's super capable. I didn't think it would be. Uh, these are a set of rock lock tires on RC four-wheel drive bead locks that I flipped to go deep dish to give it a little width, because it was very very narrow but uh this thing has all kinds of flex i mean that's all four tires on the ground and this thing's in the air on a four stack of stock deadbolt tires i mean it's pushing the limits obviously you can see it kind of kind of wants to lift there but all four tires are in fact touching it doesn't have <clears throat> a ton of power but it's got enough enough speed and torque. I mean, I'm using a stock SCX24 motor wheel. I don't know how trash those are. But it's just a really fun rig to crawl around with. It's it's unusual. It's much more different than the rest of my trucks. Um, so I figured I'd spotlight it and, and show you guys for something that I thought I was going to throw away. I ended up keeping, and I'm glad I did. Plus, I had this body that doesn't fit any of the SCX24s. It's too small, but it fits this thing great. So currently, how I have it mounted, there's this movable plate in the front. I don't know what that's supposed to be attached to. There's also one in the back. And I just tilt them out a little bit. Lock that tab right there on the front of it. Hold that one in the back. And then that holds the body on. And it's pretty solid. I don't, I wouldn't feel conf confident like I can hold it by the body, but <clears throat> it's not super, super solid. I'm sure I'll come up with something different, but uh, you know, it, it's got plenty of flex. The wheels basically clear the uh, wheel wells. They don't really rub unless you get some serious, insane articulation. So just happened to be that it fits it well, but that's enough talking and chatting. I've been talking too much. Uh, we're gonna go run this thing and see how it does out on the course. I think it's gonna do good. It's fun. It's really top heavy because of the way I have it set up, but let's check it out. All right, guys. Well, I corrupted or lost the footage from earlier. Not sure how it happened, but it's gone now. So we're out here in the dark trying to film, get some footage of this thing. It's not the best in the world, but hey, we're making it work. All this articulation. The back tire's way up here. The other one's sunk way down there. This thing is jacked. Not gonna do great in the holes, I know that much. Let's give it a little helping hand there. All right, and another one. 
and another one. Guys, I know the quality's not great. I will do another review. Oh, it's Jack. I'll do another video review in the future with this thing when I'm a little more done. But I said I'd upload a video a day in August, so by gosh, that's what we're doing. And this is one of them. See what it's stuck on. Oh. All right. And the light went out. Hang up. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! All right, we're back. inside where there's a little more light. I'm bummed I lost the footage from earlier, but it did about the same really. It's It's got a ton of flex. It's just not the most capable truck in the world, nor does it need to be. It's just kind of fun to drive, you know? I need to figure out how to get the top heaviness down and that'll come with more modifications, etc. But for right now, I'm happy with it. Glad I didn't just get rid of it. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. Let me know down in the comments, did you guys ever have a trail trekker or one of the little low-sea mini crawlers? Do you still have one? Do you like them? Hope you enjoyed the video. Wasn't the best quality, <laughs> but again, just trying to do one a day for August. Then we'll get back to the quality content more spaced out. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.